I know, right? Long time no rant. Nice to see you. Just about my favourite TV show at the moment is The Repair Shop. It's so soothing. It's like a warm bath for the soul. And I was watching it with my girlfriend and she said something very interesting. She said, isn't it intriguing that the British public can embrace and indeed rejoice in the idea of expertise when they see expertise being used to restore a burnt teddy bear or fix an antique camera or bake an elaborate cake and yet seem content to dismiss the whole notion of expertise as elitist claptrap when it comes to economics and medicine? There is right now a tendency to conflate the ideas of knowledge and intelligence. They are not the same. These days, if you're talking about something with somebody and it becomes apparent that they don't really know what they're talking about, if you point that out, they will respond with, Are you calling me stupid? Well, no, you're not. You're just pointing out that they haven't done the reading. The most intelligent person in the world will know less about a topic he hasn't read up on than a person of average intelligence who has read up on it. All right, who's an unquestioned genius? Stephen Fry. If you had your arm torn off, would Stephen Fry be able to sew it back on for you? No, he wouldn't. And this is not because Stephen Fry isn't clever enough. It's because Stephen Fry hasn't put in the literally decades of training necessary to become a vascular surgeon. If Stephen Fry were to find himself aboard a stricken airliner with an incapacitated crew, could Stephen Fry seize the controls of that aircraft and bring it in safely to land? Now, I can't be 100% on this one, but I'm going to go with no again. Although, be honest, you would totally go and see that movie. And this is not to say that all airline pilots are cleverer than Stephen Fry. It's just that Stephen Fry has not, as far as we know, trained as an airline pilot. Similarly, if you find yourself cornered by an anti-vaxxer and he starts going on about the need to do your own research, you could point out to him that as it stands, neither you nor he are able to do your own research in this field. Because neither you nor, I think we can safely assume, he have spent decades studying virology, immunology and epidemiology. So even if you tried to do your own research, you wouldn't know what the hell you were looking at. But that's not calling him an idiot. I mean, don't get me wrong, he is an idiot, but that's not why. He's an idiot because he thinks watching half a dozen YouTube YouTube videos and reading a couple of blogs counts as research. But best of luck trying to explain that to the stupid bastard.